Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough with the interior of Clanker cleared out. I'm now going to do the exterior. So I'm going to start over on this side where I exited the gills as per my organization idea and start going around here. Now this is sort of kind of platforming segment. Don't get on this grate. This grate is sort of a trap. Watch us. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to get that up. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to get the mumble token before I showed that. But yeah, when you do that platforming, do not get on the grate there. Hey, hey, let me out of the water. I got eggs to collect. Because why not? <laughs> now I'm going to go back over to the shot spring pad over here. Because there's another way that I can use it. And that is... Oh, I can't get up there without the fin, that's right. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm on Finn, there we go. So shock spring up over to this side this time. There's another pipe that you can climb on. And, 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 get over here. Now, as tempting as it seems to just slide down this, don't do that. What I want you to do is get these notes like that, and then you jump over to here. Now, if you look down here, Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's empty honeycomb, and that will give us another unit of health because we've collected six! Woo! Heck yeah! Alright, now, uh, if you were curious what's inside that other pipe, I guess I'll show that too. It's just a bunch of eggs, if I recall correctly. It's uh, either that or feathers, but. Oh, no, wait, it, is it a ginger? Uh, hold, hold on. Yeah, it is a ginger. Okay, but if you slide down here, yeah, it's eggs. It's, but yeah, it's definitely want to go down here. And then if you want, you can slide down. Whee! Extra life, too. <laughs> but as I said before, extra lives, not really all that important. Alright, so now that we're done with that little egg kind of corner of the room, I guess you could say. I don't know if I'd even call it a corner. I'd, I don't know what I'd call it. Um, now I'm going to swim under here. Uh, actually, I want to get as much air as possible for this because I don't know if this is the one that leads to a jiggy or not. But there's one of these pathways that leads directly to a jiggy and it's a long swim that if you don't have enough air, you'll run out and die. So don't let that happen if you can help it. Uh, let's see, which one is this one? It is, it is, it is, it is. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. Great. <laughs> Everything looks the same underwater, that's why I kind of like, hmm, I don't know what this one leads to or where it goes, but yeah, this one is one that goes back to the beginning, so that's why I'm going around the room in a very structured way, because I want to make sure that I clear out everything 100% as I go in a very structured way, because you do not want to be wandering around this place gasping for air, literally back and forth between the surface, trying to search for stuff over and over as it's inefficient and not all that fun. So whenever you're doing these sorts of slow segments, do them in a very organized fashion. So like I have to go back up for air here and I guess I gotta go up to get that feather, but now I'm gonna go over to this toxic waste area I think it is, if this is the one that I think it is. Um, no this is not, but this is the last Jinjo. Uh, slowly, slowly, don't miss it. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like to collect the last Jinjo underwater if I can help it, but... Mm -mm. <laughs> then you have to swim back for said Jinjo, and it's rather annoying. Um, I'm gonna... S well, actually, I should probably kill you off just in case I need health, just for the sake of the future. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go up over here. And uh, go through this segment. Whee! This is a, like a note gathering, item gathering type segment thing that eventually leads to an extra life that's optional. Well, other than that one note and this note here, I guess. But yeah, um, not a lot difficult to do. And then I'm gonna drop back down over to said uh, 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 said golden note. And I wanted, to, I was using, I was doing my. I was doing my Rattatat rap the first time. What are you telling me, game? Are you telling me that I was not doing my Rattatat rap? Or was I just outside the hitbox? I don't know. 
I don't know. What I do know is, and this is kind of funny, I should show this too, as long as I just remembered it, uh, is on his eyes, his eyes will follow you around everywhere, and he doesn't really react, even if you go on his eye. You can, you can slam the eye all you want, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, now what I'm going to do here, because it's a little bit easier to do this from above, is start by going up his tail on this side of the room, because remember I did that other edge just a bit ago. And very, very carefully go up the oh, up the tail fin. I mean very carefully. It's very easy to fall off of this. And when you get up to about here, you can go to banjo mode and then jump up over to here, do the rat a tat wrap on this, and it will open up. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Well Well, you know how to get that jiggy. <laughs> so I might as well drop down over to here to get these notes now that I'm here. Um yeah, the thing about it is that I wanted to get the Jiggy, then drop down to here, because it's just easier to get to here from up there. But I failed in my quest to do that in an efficient way, so I'm gonna have to run up its tail once again. So, so much sad. So, so much sad, because yeah, I can't actually get up on its tail. I actually have to go up along its body here until I reach the fin, and then I gotta get... Come on, let's flap flip over here. <laughs> Alright, Talon Trot back up here, and there's a couple of more underwater things to see. Uh, two Jiggies in specific. And there we go, there we go. Heck yeah, baby! Woohoo! Alright, now I can hop off of here officially. And now here is the toxic area that I was talking about. It's not actually toxic to you, despite how it looks, including the toxic water which I thought was actually dangerous when I first played through the game, but actually isn't. Yeah, this toxic water here. Um, these are Snippet Mutants, also known as Mutie Snippets. And, uh, yeah, they want to battle me. They're basically just like regular old Snippets. Not dangerous at all if you do your beak bomb, so yeah. Come in here, get the notes, kill the Snippets, get out of here. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's also a little little giblet oof, little giblet of stuff up over here on this pipe if you want to take a look see up here yeah it's just a little sort of kind of lighting area type thing and I'm gonna try and slow oh, I failed to slam on you hey come over here there we go Woo! once you kill them all I believe a jiggy will appear up on the top yeah I thought there's something else maybe to see up there that's why I went up there early but eh, guess not and there's all the notes I hope you got them all, because you do not want to do this all over again. This <laughs> is such a slow world in some aspects. Alright, there we go. Yeah! And unfortunately, the last Jiggy I'm going to be collecting, I guess, is going to be underwater. Why I say unfortunately is because we are going to be missing out on the super special victory animation for getting all ten Jiggies. But I guess it just ended up being the last set of pipes that I am going through here. So yeah, where is that? It's this one right here. Yep, I recognize it because there's a grate all the way down on the other side. And that grate signals a little hint as to where this Jiggy is because you can't really get to it from the grate side. You have to swim to it all the way over from the other side. And do not miss that Jiggy for too long. And don't get yourself stuck either because you are going to drown on your way out. Which actually reminds me, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Have I? I did 100% this. So you know what? You know what's faster getting out here than uh, than actually swimming back to the entrance? Because you know what? Normally I'd have to go all the way back to that that pad from, and then I have to do some jumps and flapping. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna drown myself here. How does that sound? <laughs> You'll be able to see the drowning animation as well as one death. I guess you could say to add to the totals, because everything is 100% at anyway. And there we go, there's your drowning death animation for the walkthrough. Because I wouldn't have died there otherwise. <laughs> Best note score is perfect! You don't have to tell me. <laughs> so yeah, um, otherwise, if you don't want to die, uh, for some reason, to get back to that pad, you actually have to go... Uh, I guess I'll show you just because you actually have to go over to this ladder here. Yeah, remember this part over here? Yeah, you go up around here. Then you go 
kill off these duders all over again. As you go around here. Oh, no, no. That was like a double hit! A double fail! <laughs> so, yeah, okay, as I was saying, you go up around here. And th this pipe, I should say, this way leads to. I failed on my timing again. <laughs> I'm gonna end up just ending up going back over to the starting pad just by sheer death. Because <laughs> I'm failing this so badly. Well, it's mainly because I'm in a hurry, because I should be shifting the camera around. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, basically you go here and up around here, and then you jump into that pipe there, which is kind of tricky. You can also do it from the other side, but I find the ladder way is a lot faster to do that. Let's see if I can get inside that. If not, I'm gonna kill myself in the game. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. And remember, I've already got World 4 unlocked, so I don't have to do the whole rigmarole here. So, you know, yeah, use that at go back to part 4 if you don't know how to do that rigmarole. As for now, I'm going to go back over to... Remember the main room segment here that led to a couple of branches. I'm going back over there to bash in Grunty's eyes. Literally. Well, okay, maybe not literally. Just the eyes on her floor here, because remember we hit in part 5 the witch switch. Yep. Beak bomb those suckers, and you'll get yourself a jiggy. Heck yeah! Woo! Woo! Alright, now... I am gonna start my trek, I guess you could say, to set up stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is go up to here and open up this note door, because this is a whole other wing we haven't yet seen. So we can finally leave this, because we have more than enough notes. And uh, there's a chump fish in the water here, so look out for that. So look out for that. Also look out for the incredibly easy enemy that I am failing to defeat. Yeah, they, they kind of track you and whatnot, so don't go in the water if you can help it. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here just because I know that there is that there and whatnot. Uh, but as for the actual other thingajigger up there, I'm gonna leave that for, for a little bit later on. I can show you what's up there, I guess. It's another note door. But that is for... How am I managing to fail so badly? <laughs> but yeah, there's another note door up there. And behind here is... 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 yep, Brentilda. And she's gonna give us a couple more fun facts. Ah, so comfy. <laughs> well, mud baths are supposed to be pretty comfy, so... yeah. <laughs> she won the Dirtiest Undies competition. I don't know how they would judge that, um, like, did they, she bring undies, or did they check them over, or, I, 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 well, they were being worn, I don't know, I don't know, but, um, by the way, if, if you're low on health, she'll also heal you, which is nice. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go, remember to write down those fun facts about Gruntilda, and then head up, up the uh, slope over here. Now, you'll notice you, uh, when we, I went through here that there is a Jiggy over here, but I can't do anything about that right now, so I'm gonna have to leave that for later. Now, I'm gonna go up to that area that I, you've seen before that has Bubble Gloop Swamp. Remember the next world? Yup, 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 that is in here. And... and... get out of here. <laughs> And what I'm gonna do here first is get some more dialogue. First, from these boots that are over here. Hey, keep your feet out! You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles! So I don't wanna miss the dialogue, because then I'm gonna have to restart stuff to show you the dialogue. <laughs> and then there's another Brintilda appearance in here for some more fun facts for you to write down. Her favorite sport is Loogie Flicky. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a sport. <laughs> She's dim. She attended Cauldron College. Finally! But won't I believe? It's performing a scary striptease. Yes! <laughs> um, I think that was changed to like, um, eating 
a big pot of beans or something like that, or I I forgot, but it, it was something, something, <laughs> in like future versions of the game or something like that, if I recall correctly, or, or I mean earlier versions of the game or something like that. I don't know which versions of the game that I've got here, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there was something about beans. <laughs> Oh, and over here behind Bubble Gloop Swamp is, yep, a little honeycomb beehive type thing. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually going to go in here uh, because, oh, I think that was going to pop up with just some of Grunty's dialogue, because I'm going to get the move right over here right off the bat, uh, because there's only one move to here. One move and one move only it is behind here. Uh, don't worry about the flibbit there. I'm going to kind of give them an introduction later on. <laughs> These are the waiting boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. So yeah, now those boots that we couldn't use earlier, we can use them. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I'm starting the world. Oh, no, 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 no. That's going to be next part. I came in here to get this set up for something ahead of time. I'm not actually going to do anything in this world besides get that move here, because this is just going to just gonna set the groundwork for when I'm ready to leave the world for realsies later. Uh, right now I'm coming back out here, and yeah, if you want to rat-a-tat wrap those duders, you can, but I don't think you really need to, because they are not really in the way, the way that we're going to have to do this. Um, but basically, what we want to do now that we got the boots active is get the boots and now run, 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 and run some more in this direction. You might have seen behind Bubble Gloop Swamp, there was a pipe. Well, that pipe leads to something that we have to set up before we get the next Mumbo transformation. So, in, in, in order to do that, we got to get there via these boots. And as long as we're there, I'll also do something else by unlocking World 5, and if you want to cancel your boots early, press uh, the Z button and then press the B button, and they'll get be cancelled out very nicely. So yeah, first there's this thing over here, Freeze Easy Peak. Maybe I'll tempt you, or I should say make you feel impatient by putting these puzzle pieces in one at a time this time. Yes! <laughs> and... This unlocks the world at a place we've not yet encountered. <laughs> this is this isn't even well. It is past that note door that we've seen uh, with that big grunty statue, but it's in another room past that room. So yeah, uh, we're not gonna see that world for a couple more parts. And all this is the thing that I want to get uh, broken ahead of time. Yeah, see, there's, there's this thing right here, we cannot fit in here. We need to be transformed as Mumble's next transformation, so do not forget to come here as next Mumble as Mumble's next transformation. Um, to get out of here, you'll notice that uh, we're gonna have to go through that piranha-infested water again. Uh, well, actually, I never showed that it was piranha-infested before, did I? Well, yeah, that's why you need these wading boots, because that water hurts you. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you that when I'm in a sort of kind of safe place, <laughs> so that I'm able to perform this and able to jump out relatively quickly. And yeah, if the timer run out, runs out, you're gonna, gonna have some ire there. <laughs> just so, whenever you get the waiting boots, there's just enough time to get to whatever location you need to get to. Uh, and the timing of your waiting boots varies from waiting boot to waiting boot because that's kind of the challenge of the waiting boots is that each one has their own specific timer to use them on. Anyway, piranha time! <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like that at Bubble Gloop Swamp as well. So we're going to be jumping from place to place avoiding the swamp of piranhas. And by the way, that this, this piranha swamp is also really slow to walk through as well as you see right there, so don't stay in it too long because you might not be able to get out in time before you run out of health, but it is possible to sort of kind of abuse jumping in the swamp and taking damage to take shortcuts and stuff like that, but uh, I'll be probably covering some of that sort of stuff in the next part when I start the Bubble Gloop Swamp, so I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when I start it. For realsies!